Hey guys, this is Kevin Lavroni from the Lavroni Report. I'm feeling under the weather since my body fat dropped. Uh, now I'm, I'm sick, <laughs> but the show still goes on no matter what because the life of a champion is an endless transformation. So that's what it's all about. And I just I've been reading every comment on the blog, and overall it's very very positive. And you guys can see that the gains and the results have been uh, significant. Okay, so like I said, you know, this is a, uh, this is, it continues. And this journey continues. So let's see where we're at here. I'm going to answer a few questions from, but this one's from John M123. Um, what's the next step? And am I considering competing? One last time. You know, there's a rumor floating around that Ronnie Coleman's competing in 2010, Mr. Olympia. I don't know how true that is or not. If they up the prize money and make the prize money a million dollars, yeah, I'll walk on stage. Hope that answers your question. <laughs> um, there's another question that came in. Uh, Alex. Uh, Alex said, y you're saying when you train abs three days a week, you feel more of a burn than when you train your abs every day. I mean, everybody's different, Alex. For me, it works if I train my abs every day. You know, some people, maybe for you, it, it might be better just starting off because if you start off and you gradually just work yourself into an everyday workout doing abs, I think you'll be fine. Another thing, the ab is a smaller muscle group like calves, and those muscle groups can be worked. Um, more often than larger muscle groups so less rest in between those small muscle groups and you're definitely going to see a, a noticeable difference Carl C um, your your question was um, oh about posing you always it, it says that bodybuilders when they pose they always put their you're talking about like this when you stick your finger in there and you're flexing your pose like that doing a bicep pose or whatever I don't know man where that habit I, I actually picked that same habit up myself not that it does anything different or it's an added uh, flexing thing that makes you you know something pop out that's not the case it's just one of those habits that pro bodybuilders I guess it's a pro bodybuilder thing what, what, what they do um, and Rafael this is the last question your question was, did I retire from the IFBB because I never uh, could beat Ronnie Coleman? Uh, no, it's not the case. Actually, I never, I never retired from bodybuilding. I never made that announcement. I just decided to walk off stage. And part of my decision to doing that was I competed and I won every show around the world. Um, eight, nine-time European champion, and with a history of doing so many shows, 60-some shows, I felt like my body just needed a break, and I got second in the Mr. Olympia four times, won the Arnold Classic twice, won every major show out there, and I just, I just had enough. It wasn't challenging for me again, but this Lavroni report in the blog, this is very challenging, and you guys are pushing me to the max, so thank you very much for that question, and... Thank you guys out there, man. Uh, it's been a phenomenal ride. Once again, baby, it's Kevin Lavroni in the house, and I'm out of here.